Okay, if you take one of these extended capacity C3 battery packs and tear it apart, you end up with all this stuff. So this is your battery management board. Maybe I could get that in focus there. And then the uh, you've got all the battery tabs. You can see this one had uh, there was a five cells that were pretty well shot. I'll zoom in on those in a bit. Here's the uh, temperature probe. I always wondered how I guess the early batteries they had that. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get some close-ups of the bottom of this board. But yeah, you've got a temperature cell there. But yeah, I got the sides off. It seems like on these packs you need to take this off in order to get the side. Uh, these are the the battery holders. And the the tabs go over the outside of these. So the only way to get these off is you have to break all the the spot welds off and you just kind of work in get the bottom loose and then get the second row loose and then you got to do the same thing on the other side it's got the same the same thing and then you can get the cells out so this one I think I've got some of them the the bottoms there's one here that's got a little bit of uh, rust on it but I'll, I'll test these three or these five cells and then there were these I think these are due for the recycler especially this one that's I guess what's inside of one of these so I think this this pack was probably beyond repair. There's a, a lot of the battery tabs are all corroded from these five, and they it was really stuck together because the you can see how they were swelled up. So I think these are going out in the recycle bag, battery recycling bag. Let's see if I can get rid of those before they explode on me. I think those are beyond recovery. But if I get five, you know, if, if these five are, are any good, that would be two dollars for each cell, but that's pretty much all the stuff. And I'll see if I can get a few close-ups of uh, this board, the battery management board. This is one of the early this is probably like the second generation where they added the plug for the fuel gauge and they also put the uh, MOSFETs up on top and then you can see this BMS board is just big enough to pick up all the terminals. It's not quite full size but it's it's pretty close. So they've got a few components on the bottom and then the uh, I'll try to get some see if I can find any data sheets on that if you can see that but yeah that looks like what's in one of these extended capacity these are you know, it's got the the oldest or probably the second oldest design and this one has an 0911 date assuming that's a date code uh, probably 2009 date code maybe so if that's uh, if that's true this one's about five years old and looks like it's I think it's pretty much beyond just use it for parts I guess like I say I want to grab the this piece and make an adapter to plug into my uh, charger so I can get to these wires and uh, kind of instrument them and see what's going on with the charger and then maybe I get five you know, if I can get a couple of good cells out of that uh, you know, if, I, if all five of those are are good 
that's two dollars a piece for the cells since I only paid ten dollars for the for the battery so we'll see what happens I'll update you when I get a chance to check out these cells and uh, in the meantime you can check out some of my other videos uh, give this one a thumbs up if you like it uh, subscribe to the channel for updates and thanks for watching